How would you like to get this spooky good Halloween video template absolutely free? Just click the link to go download your copy and then follow along with me as I show you how to modify it. Having a few seasonal video templates in your toolbox is a really great way to engage your viewers over holidays and special events and Halloween of course is an excellent opportunity to put out some fun and engaging visual content. This template comes from the Majestic Volume 3 collection and be sure to check all those out but for now let's get started on this guy. Download the template zip file to your hard drive right click and extract open that folder up and there is a fonts directory just highlight right click and install these creepy Halloween fonts if you don't already have them to open the template I use the standard version which is actually widescreen there's a preview here for you and also images of all the various slides which is kinda handy so let's double click the presentation and get going. The first time you open it up there will be an enable editing button around here somewhere. Just click that. The first thing you want to do is go to file, save as, navigate to a location on your hard drive and give this a different name because you do not want to screw up your master copy. For advanced PowerPoint slides like this the very first thing I'm going to do is open up what's called the selection pane on the home tab you can go over to select choose the selection pane here you can also click on any element on the slide go to format and find your button here but savvy video creators will once you find this button right click on it and add it to your quick access toolbar that way it'll be right up here at the top like I have mine and instead of hunting and searching for the selection pane I just click and boom we're ready to go. On the first slide here the only element that we can modify is this text but if I try to click on it what you'll see is that I can't select it and if we look at the selection pane we'll see why. The text box is in this order in the layers but on top of it is this other full screen element that is covering it. So to be able to get at the text underneath, I'm going to go ahead and click the eyeball of the color object here. And now if I click on the text, I can go ahead and modify this to whatever I want. And the same with the second box. Once you finish modifying the text, do not forget to turn this layer back on and we should be good to go. Let's move on to the next slide. The selection pane tells us that we probably have two things here we can modify. The text box, of course, and the picture. When I have multiple things that I want to modify, I'll generally hide all and then turn things on individually one by one so that I can modify them. Let's start with the text box. Click the eyeball tool to reveal it, but what you might notice is I don't see a text box here. And that's because, again, with a lot of these advanced PowerPoint slides, I'm going to hold my control key and use my mouse wheel to zoom out. The element is actually off screen and part of the animation brings it into the slide. So one of the things to be aware of is that you might need to zoom out to be able to get to the various elements to modify. The other thing I want to mention for this slide deck is I'm going to make a note of two things on each slide. One is the text itself. What does the text say? And two, what is the picture that is associated with this slide? You'll see why in just a second. To modify the text here, I'll change this to something else. But again, remember what it was previously. Let's turn the picture on also. And this is a graphic. I kind of like it. It suits the theme very well. So I think I'm just going to leave this one. Don't forget to show all once you're done. Let's move to the next slide. I'm going to hide all and turn the text box back on. And here's why I said to make a note of the text and the images. 
here you'll notice that spooky is what the original slide up here was before I changed it. So what I want to do to make this work seamlessly is to make sure that on this slide I change the text to be the same thing. And on this slide the picture that we want to modify is down here but it's part of a group with all kinds of spooky graphics and effects on top of it. So I'm going to turn the group back on and again it's important in a lot of these slides to make a note of what the image currently is. This is a gal holding a pumpkin. To change it I'm going to click on it in the selection pane and I'm going to hover my mouse till I get eh, a little corner arrow here is what I usually do. Right click and say format picture. Go to the fill bucket and what we can see is that this is a shape that uses a picture as the fill. So to change it I'm going to go to file, pick a new image and insert it. Now the images that come with the slide deck are all in a gray scale and if you insert a picture that happens to have color I think I want to kind of go with that black and white spooky theme type of a thing so what I'm going to do is also go to the format tab and then over to color and choose this guy right here and make it a gray accent. Don't forget to show all once you're done. Let's give that a preview and move on to the next slide. Just kind of go through the same process. I'm going to hide all, turn the text box back on, and this is a new set of text. So again, if you're going to change this, remember what it was, make your modification, and then let's turn the picture placeholder on. And here's a case where I need to again use the same image that I used in the previous one, which is this guy right here. So remember, it was the gal holding the pumpkin. Let's click on it. And for this one, I'm going to right click on the picture and just say change picture from file. Find the same picture that I used in the previous slide, insert it, and go to format and add my color correction. Turn all the layers back on and let's give that a preview. Next slide. At this point we're basically just kind of repeating that process. Make a note of both the text and the images that are going to be used. And If you make a change be aware that it might show up in a subsequent slide. Let's turn the picture on and quite frankly a lot of these images in this particular slide deck are pretty nice pretty apropos to the topic at hand so I may or may not even change a bunch of these but certainly just mess with the text. So just repeat that process and procedure for the rest of the slides and when you're all finished and customized go to File, Export, Create Video, set the second spent on each slide to zero and create video. Because of a known bug in PowerPoint I do not save my videos as MPEG-4 but rather use the drop down here and save them as Windows Media File. Click Save and PowerPoint will render out your awesome Halloween video. Hey thanks for watching be sure to check out all the templates in the Majestic Volume 3 collection and I'll see you next time.